Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanTheDot.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed benchmarking test on our Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge smartphone. It comes with Exynos octa-core processor, 4GB of RAM, Mali GPU and 5.5 inch WQHD screen along with Android Marshmallow OS. So the benchmarking applications which we got today are Entity Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X, it's a gaming benchmarking test and then we got Geekbench 3 and Quadrant Standard. So out of these five we have already performed three to save you time because these three tests are very time consuming and the remaining two tests we will do here right in front of you. So let's start with the Entity Benchmarking and have a look on the score. So you can see the score is 113,813 so this is a very nice score and you can have a look on the individual scores here as well for 3D testing, UX testing, GPU, CPU and RAM testing as well and if you go to the ranking you can see that our device is scoring at the third place in this list and the second place is also occupied by Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I think that's another version of this device and it comes with Snapdragon processor and at the top is Xiaomi Mi 5. So you can see that Samsung Galaxy S7 is one of the best smartphone available in the market in terms of hardware specs here and also the entity benchmarking score. Now let's go back and uh, the next benchmarking test is Basemark OS 2. We have already performed this test as well. Let's have a look on the result. And here we go. It's 1426. That's the overall score. And for the system, it's 2295. Memory 100, 1159. For graphics, it's really very nice. One, 1793 web browsing just 866 and because of that the overall score is 1426 if you watch our previous benchmarking test videos in which we have performed the benchmarking test on few of the most uh, high-end devices available in the market then you will get the better idea that how good our galaxy s7 edge will be performing with respect to them so now let's go back and have a look on Basemark X. Once again, we have performed this test already and here is the result. And the score is 32,951 and it's really very nice. Once again, you can watch our previous video and compare this result with rest of the smartphones to get the idea and understand that how good our Galaxy S7 Edge is going to perform with respect to them. So now let's go back and what we got today is Geekbench 3. We will be doing this test right here in front of you. You can have a look on few of the hardware specs of this device that it is having octa-core processor that's uh, clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, 4 GB of RAM, Android 6 OS. So now let's just start the benchmarking and see how much score our device is going to get once the test is finished and we will be comparing it with the rest of the smartphones. So the test is finished and here is the score. For single core testing it's 1838 and for multi core it is 5761. If you go to these tabs you can compare the result. So for Samsung Galaxy S5 the score was 938 and for our Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge it is 1838. That's exactly twice of Samsung Galaxy S5. So if you have used 
any of these devices like Samsung Galaxy S5, Nexus 10, LG Nexus 5, Amazing Kindle Fire, SDX7. So you will get the idea that how good our Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is going to perform. And if you go to the multi-core tab, once again, you can compare the result. So for Galaxy S5, it's 2,836. And for Galaxy S7 Edge, it is 5,761. Once again, it's exactly twice of Samsung Galaxy S5. And you can have a look on rest of the score as well. So our device is achieving nearly twice of all of these smartphones and tablets available in the market so you should be getting the idea that how good our samsung galaxy s7 edge should be performing and the last test for today is going to be quadrant standard so let's start the test so this one is also a detailed test you can see it's for cpu memory input output speed 3d graphics rendering and 2d graphics rendering as well so let's see what we are going to get once the test is finished So the test is finished and here is the score. So our device is scored 52,783 as you can see. And here is the list of few more devices, but all of them are pretty old like HTC One X, Motorola Atrix 4G, Galaxy Tab 10.1. So these are pretty old devices, not the latest smartphones or uh, tablets but uh, if you have a look on this chart you can see that for HTC One X it's it's coming up to 5000 I think and our device is scoring 52000 here and same goes with rest of the devices so if you have used any of these devices you should be getting the idea that Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is scoring more than 10 times of any of these devices so this is a very nice thing and you can see that in terms of hardware and benchmarking scores, our Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is uh, one of the best smartphone currently available in the market. So the performance will be really great. We will be doing few detailed review of this device by checking the gaming performance, the multitasking performance and all to get the better idea that how good Samsung Galaxy A7 Edge is going to perform in real life scenario instead of just the benchmarking test and scores. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this. Have a nice day.